everyone and welcome to another TDR Family Gaming video. This is Droid TDR and you can see me sporting the chaotic top hat in the Ready Player 2 lobby. Holy smokes, what is this? It's the new book by Ernst Klein called Ready Player 2. If you've seen Ready Player 1 the movie or read the book, you know it's pretty darn awesome. So they're having an event for the release of Ready Player 2. And you can search for all sorts of items. I think there's about eight different items, maybe seven different items. You can see them in the portals there. And there's an interview up on the main stage there. And as people are winning things, you can see it announces it up on the top of the screen in the lobby here. And oh, hey, Psycho Boy, so sorry. I was showing people the lobby. I didn't even see you were there. I didn't mean to uh, throw shade there or anything. Thing. But anyways, I am going to show you how to get the chaotic top hat, which is in Dungeon Quest, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Now, there are seven gems you have to get, and you have to get them in order, as I found out. The first one is right over here. Woo! There's the red one. You got to get the red one first. I actually got them all in the wrong order, and that apparently doesn't unlock things the way that I was hoping, so now we have to go get the yellow one. And the yellow one is up behind the wizard tower. I'm not sure why I went through that gate, but it is up behind the wizard tower. You can see the wizard tower right there. In the back wall, there is a crack in the back wall, which you may have used for hide and seek if you've ever played with us here. But right there is the yellow gem. There you go. So we've got the yellow gem now. Now we've got to go unearth the blue gem. Where the heck is that? It is not too far. It is literally just, you know, 10 trees away. Bam. Blue gem. And you just kind of run over it and it collects it or you hope it does. The fourth one is cyan. Now where is the cyan one? It is underwater. So you have to run over here dive down and then let's see is that way no it is back out towards the ocean a little bit right there so there's the cyan gem now let's go get the white one the white one i was told is near the training dummies behind a tree near the training dummies so i had to go run around here and I saw someone there. I figured that's probably where it is. And I ran around the tree. Did I get it? Oh, yes, there it was. You can kind of see it. It looks more like a gray gem to me. But a white gem, gray gem. There you go. That one's done. Next one is purple, which I actually found uh, much, much earlier. It's one of the first ones I found. Because I figured there would be some sort of thing related to the door. So I found this one my first time. But now I have to find it as the sixth one. So there we go. There's number six, purple gem. Now we're going over to find the green one. And the green one is my nemesis, my Achilles heel. That's right. It is in parkour. So we run in here. I'm like, there is no way I'm going to get this. Supposedly there's a secret room in here somewhere. So I was just checking. Maybe it'd be on the ground floor. Maybe I don't have to do the parkour. But no, no such luck. So I figured, all right, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. First run here. Can I make it? Uh, all right, is there a secret room here? Let me check in the corner. No, okay. Let's keep going. Keep going. I'm surprised I haven't fallen yet. Amazing. Oh, I see it up there. It's up there. Okay. I see a new door that I haven't seen before. Of course, I haven't really gotten here very many times before. But uh, let's see. And right about now, Reed was peeking over my shoulder saying, Hey, Dad, if you don't think you're going to make that jump, you should use the blue meanies. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. So I used them to jump over and then I run in there and bam, there is the green gem. Yeehaw. So, gosh, since I've gotten this far, I may as well just go and, you know, prove that I actually can do this parkour. <laughs> Let's go get the real gem up here at the... Oh my gosh, what was that? Let's go. All right, Droid, come on. You can do this. You can. 
No, no, no. You can get the heck out of here. You're not going to go do that parkour. Come on. You know it's not going to happen. All right, now we have to go find the combination lock. I think we have to enter a wrong code or something to turn the lamps on. The what? The lamps, yes. So there's a combination lock that is not here until you get all the gems in the right order. So I figured, well, let's just enter the basic password. Of course, it's going to be six digits, and of course, it does not work. Well, it was worth a try. You never know. Password could have been password, but it wasn't. Now, I was told that we needed to go find a place where you could see these lamps lighting up in a certain pattern or code. And I didn't know what that meant at all, so I just figured let's go to a top high area and let's go look for some things that are blinking. And holy smokes, there are things blinking. But I could only see a couple of them. And you see that white circle over there? I moved over there because I noticed there were some other lamps that I couldn't see from where I was. For example, there's all five of them. And that is the first number. That is the second number. I've slowed this down, you can see. And then there's another. And then there's four. So they blink in a pattern and then they pause. There's two. And then the final one. So 511, 421. That was my code. Now I'm going to play it at normal speed so you can see how fast it actually goes. And also, it's important to know, this is just the code for this particular run for me. See, there was the five, there's the one, there's another one. But as soon as I used this code and I went and uh, to the secret area to fight the boss, the code's done. If I want to do it again, I have to go look for the next pattern of lights. So. Good to know, in case you didn't know that. It's different code for everyone, and once you use your code on this keypad, it don't work no more. Oops, I had to reset it there. So let's see, five, one, one, four, two, one. What happens? Oh, baby. Here we go, we're going somewhere. Teleporting to what the heck is this? Servers? It looks like it's a little corrupted, a little bit matrixy, a little bit what the heck is going on? Tron? I don't know, but this looks pretty slick. I'm into it. There's an energy barrier. I've got two spells that I'm not used to seeing. I can slice with my sword. Very nice. What the heck? Holy smokes. Wait. No! Parkour! No! Make it stop, please. Make it stop. All right, well, maybe I can make this. Maybe I can make it without too many deaths. And I made it. Wow, crazy. Did not expect that. And there's death number one. Yep. That is a droid in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. My time is counting down, and I have jumped to my doom. But this is really, really cool. I love the zero and one scramble going on. It makes it a little hard to tell where I'm standing. And I'm going to make this jump this time. Ready, set, here we go. And there we go. Made it. All right, let's see if I can make it to this one. Yeah, what? Oh, no. Third time's a charm, please. Oh, look at that. I've wasted so much time just doing parkour. No, make it stop. Kathy, what are you doing to me? Okay, that's all right. I'll make it this time. I'll make it. I made it this time. There we go. Oh, man. Are you serious? What are these? Oh, man. Okay, if I stay in the middle, I should be good, right? Okay. And run and jump and stay in the middle. Oh, my gosh. That was close. Ah. Uh, run, jump. Hey, there we go. Another energy barrier. Bang, bang, bang. Spell, spell. And swing and swipe and chop and chop. All right, well, good to know I do 10 damage with my chopper. What? It is the glitch? The glitch in Dungeon Quest. Ladies and gentlemen, V. Caffey taking some from the script of our series called The Glitch in Dungeon Quest. Awesome! Thanks, man. I'm sure you've seen the video, and that's why you decided to uh, model this guy <laughs> after the nemesis that we have somewhere in our Dungeon Quest Glitch series. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Defeating the Glitch. I am just so bad at dodging. I was just like, hey man, I made it here. I'm fighting the Glitch, man. 
Look at that. Uh-oh. What is this? We have a little tower out here. Oh my gosh, is it healing him? It's it's healing him. No, 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 no. I gotta slice this guy up. Okay. One of those is gone. The other one, is that still healing him? He's at 680 now. No way! Okay, get rid of that thing. Goodbye, little, I don't know, energy power source thing. Goodbye, I say. Be gone. One more hit, one more hit. Bam, it's gone. It's gotta be gone, right? Isn't it gone? It's gone, okay, it's gone. Whew. All right, well, I've got four minutes. I should be able to take this guy down, even though he did heal back to 770. Oh no, I forgot. It's the dark floor. I didn't get behind the server tower in time. I am probably gonna lose one of my lives, probably right about now. No, not yet? Okay. Saving it up, saving it up. All right, maybe right there? No, no, good dodging, good job. Oh, it's, here we go, this is where I'll die. Nope, nope, made it. That's right, I am an awesome dodger. Well, not so much. Okay, that's good, I'm gonna be toast. <laughs> yeah. He ran too close to him, droid. All right, but he's only got 210, 210, I can do that. Here, let me get behind, and boom, we're good, we're good, and, oh no, are you serious? Energy sources, healing the glitch? No, you must go down, my glitchy boy. Oh man, I got hit, I got hit bad there. Man, I can't take too many more of those. Oh my gosh, at least I'm doing okay dodging. Wait, didn't I get that one? I think I got that one. All right, let's go over and work on this guy now. All right, we'll do our little shooter, we'll do our little exploder, and we'll chop, chop, chop him too. Exploder and shooter and choppy chops. Am I close enough to do choppy chops? I don't really even know, but he is gone. And now the glitch has no shielding. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. You are mine, buddy. You're down to 400, you aren't healing back. No way, no way. All right, good dodging there, droid. Way to go, oh no, not this, not this, not the, yeah. Bad, bad droid. All right, well, here we go. He's down to 260. I've got 76, I can I can dodge that. Oh man, I didn't dodge that? I thought I dodged that. All right, well, well, let's dodge that one. There we go, ha, take that. Oh man, am I gonna dodge that? I did, and he's gone, what? And I got a badge, badges. I won the VCAFI Meet the Developer Award. What, what does that mean? I have no idea, but now we know. That's how I got the Chaotic Top Hat. That is one of the like seven different items that you can win by completing different things in different games in Roblox, just like Ready Player One and probably Ready Player Two. You're searching for crazy things inside of a virtual game, and that was one of them, the Dungeon Quest one. So how did you like it? Did you find it all yet? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.